Our next guest has been more bullish than most strategists and one who has argued after a treacherous start to 2022 that stocks can still have a good year. Fundstrat's Tom Lee is with us now. Welcome back. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Scott. And um, will you admit that you've been too bullish on stocks? Yes. Uh, you know, I'd say that our base case for this first half of this year was stocks would be treacherous. Um, but it's been far worse than we expected. I mean, if, if I look back at first half 2022, it looks like, as Josh is describing, the market is really bent. I mean, especially economic expectations towards a recession. Uh, that was not something we expected. So it's been a far deeper correction than we thought possible. But I don't think the contours of the rest of the year change that much. So I think what's been sort of created as big headwinds you know, the decision point's going to be if, if we avoid recession. And, and I think for a lot of reasons, I don't think the U.S. is actually going to be breaking into a contraction. I feel like the bullish goalposts, though, have moved. And yet we still want to act as though nothing has really changed for the remainder of the year. I've got a Fed that's still going to be aggressive in trying to get a handle on inflation. I've got earnings which are already trending lower, which are undeniably going to be trending lower economy looks like it's slowing how do i deal with all of that and suggest that that stocks can still rise in that kind of an environment maybe they can maybe you'll be right but how uh well i mean there's it's part of its perspective i mean oil surged uh, but at a hundred dollars a barrel you know that's where we were 2014 you know for almost four or five years and today on a price per barrel if you're paying 90 dollars for oil you know you're still paying like close to 200 for diet coke and 300 for bottled water, so oil's still yeah. pretty cheap. And as a burden, it's quite small. Um, and in terms of the Fed put, or sorry, the Fed not having a put because it's they have to tighten, I think it's really going to depend on uh, the path of the not only the war, but supply chain glitches. And I know it's a very difficult sort of period for the Fed to navigate, but I, I think everyone's or consensus is making a view the Fed's turned hawkish, and I, I don't think that's true. I think they're trying to find appropriate policy but I do think consensus thinks they're so far behind they have to tighten to create a recession. So uh, that's that's a really second sort of point of distinction. And the third is I think there's been a lot of selling recently. Uh, I mean, of course, markets can fall for any reason, but I think we're forgetting that this, these sanctions against oligarchs, you know, that's close to $300 billion of externally managed money uh, that a lot of hedge funds now have to either freeze or redeem and that's putting a lot of selling pressure markets, and, and that's going to be. So I think a lot of things that we're seeing that look like amplified downside pressure could, could be transitory.